to develop or dispose of nuclear weapons from your iDroid. With a nuclear deterrent, even if you are discovered while infiltrating a rival PF's FOB, most PF's won't dare retaliate. But you, of all people, know how dangerous it can be to have nuclear weapons. So will you add nukes to our arsenal as a deterrent? Or will you take them away from other PF's and dispose of them to help build a world that's free of nuclear weapons? I'll leave that decision up to you. I'm gonna do neither, because I've got other stuff to do. And speaking of, we've already got two nuclear weapons on this, on this helicopter, so I'm not worried about it. Yay, stuff! Alright. Uh, okay, there we go. Gee. <laughs> they really just put everything on her chest, huh? Yeah, okay. I need to build up my bond with Quiet, and the only way I could think of doing that is doing side quests. Which is fun. Water pistol range. See, I don't need any of this. That's the issue. C4, C4 stopping power. Smokes. Hmm. Oh, I see how these work. I placed them down in animals and just go into. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh, hold on. I wasn't ready for that. Add the ability to extract children. Fuck yes. Parasite suit. These guys are just giving me everything I want, huh? Sweet. Okay. I got PF points. Cool. Let me see what that's all about. Oh, wait, what? Oh! That's what that does. So that's why people would want to do that. S rig plus plus. I don't even know what I bought. Sweet. Okay, so yeah, do stuff. <laughs> I guess. Okay. Missions. We're doing side quests. She's literally just roaming the whole thing. All right. We got to do pretty much everything, so... <laughs> uh, how about... Afrikaans? There we go. And then... Did I make the bloody one? I was gonna say, what does that look like? Eh, doesn't matter. <laughs> We're gonna not do missions for right now. I kinda wanna just build up my bond with quiet because there's a certain cutscene I want to unlock <laughs> sorry my voice is weird at the moment I just ate off screen so okay Sorry about that weird skip, chat. <laughs> we're here. We made it. Alright, we're going here. Then we're going here. Maybe? 
I mean, I really don't want to drive all the way over there. I don't know, we'll see. Hey, come on, quiet. I mean, we already have one, so it doesn't matter, but... That's the target. Cover me! Hey. Is she not gonna shoot? Hmm. fast boss come on back to base for what I did one side quest why am I being summoned back to base I, I took one guy man this game never lets me do anything I want I guarantee you Eli did it, but really that's what I got called the base for? You could have just told me that on the radio. Roger. I can't do anything about it. Why even call me back? That's stupid. Anything I want to listen to? This is Pequot on station at LC. How long are we going to keep that woman here? You mean quiet? My personal feelings aside, she's putting everybody on edge. You should hear the stories. I got sick from just standing guard at her cell. I won't stand on the same platform as that witch. She hit me for no reason. What is this, a private army or a kindergarten? The thing is, they're all serious. They're faced with something they don't understand, and a kind of mass hysteria has broken out. I've gotten wind of countless plots to take her out. There are no grounds for this suspicion whatsoever. Put yourself in her shoes, assuming they see her as a prisoner here. No, even more so, if they do, she deserves to be treated humanely. I always thought our men were a bit more noble-minded. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Threatened by quiet because she is... quiet. <laughs> That's all right. The flare grenade can be used to signal friendlies. Okay. Wait, the flare grenade it makes me attack. Oh wait, hold on. It lets me attack things. 
Okay. Cool. Alright. So, yeah, like I said, go back to the side quests. Interpret Kakongo. Incubus. Extract mineral containers. We should do this. These are really close to each other. <laughs> these are really close to each other. Yeah, we can knock these out easy. Well, I just don't want to do the side quest right now because there's like one actual story mission and then the other ones are repeats of this mission. Or not this one, but like of other missions. Like uh, back down, back up or whatever I don't know one of those there we go back in Afghanistan Can't look at the missions for some reason. Be careful down there, boss. All right, quiet. Do me a favor. Build up some stuff. Go. Go. That's mine clearing. You know what? Why not? I know that's D Dog's thing, but. up there. Got him. Wasn't paying attention, my bad. Alright, so somewhere here there's mice.
I see him. There's seven mines. There's one. There's one more. There it is. Got it. Anything else? It's an unlucky dog. Oh, that's right there. We could just do that from here. Okay. Oh, quiet good news. We are doing a mission. Because it's right there. Not bad. Not bad at all. Episode 32, to know too much. Tim? Okay. The agent that the CIA had working for them inside OKB Zero has gone missing. We've been given the job at finding and extracting him. The target learned of XOF's plans to use vocal cord parasites and had hidden himself with the CIA's Mujahideen allies. But following Skullface's death, the Soviets retook OKB Zero and all contact with the target was lost. He may have tried to go back to OKB Zero, but even Langley isn't sure what's going on. After all, they've never even learned of Skullface's plan. That's probably what they want to get out of the man once he's extracted. But we can't allow Langley to learn of the existence of the vocal cord parasites. That's why I want you to bring the target out, boss. Once we have him, we can report him dead and keep him on base. All contact with Langley is being conducted through a cutout. Our reputation should remain intact. As for the reward, it's already in the hands of the cutout. All you have to do is get the job done. Just like always. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. 
gonna go this way. What's it got going on over there? That looks important. Hey, well, you're not too smart, are you? A mortar? I don't want a mortar. I will take this, though. Oh shit 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 You better get off that I want that, that's mine Give me, give me. Bye, guy. Surprise when he gets over here. Get ready. Ooh, this guy too. He's gonna have a surprise. Happy birthday! Wow. That didn't take very long, huh? Quiet. Hey, she gave me a thumbs up. Quiet. Hey. Quiet. <laughs> Wait, you're alive? Oh, you are alive. Well, you're coming with me then. This is Pequot. Arriving shortly at LZ. You are the reason this mission's taking so long, Pequod. 
Get the damn chopper down here. This is Pequot. I'm stationed at LZ. Look at all them walker gears. All right, mission complete, boss. And quiet almost likes us. Yay! Boss, the target filled us in on what's been going on. He betrayed the Soviets, passing information to Langley, but got scared after learning XOF used the vocal cord parasites. Then came feelings of guilt that his leaks sent comrades to their deaths, and fear that America might deploy such a weapon itself. But in reality, XOF and Langley don't have a collaborative relationship, and Skullface was not working for America. Still, I can't blame the man for being afraid. After laying low with the Mujahideen, he tried to cut his ties with the U.S. and return to the Soviet military. But along the way, someone came after him, and he was forced back into hiding. Could have been remnants of XOF looking to silence him. And you know the rest. He doesn't seem to know much about the parasites, but nevertheless, it'd be too dangerous to hand him over to Langley or the Soviets. We'll keep him here as originally planned. Okie dokie. The Hamburgers of Miller. Hmm. Battle gear has been completed. Sweet. Emmerich's finished development on that battle gear of his. Get back to Mother Base. Oh look, another reason to go back to Mother Base, huh? Alright, I guess. Better be impressive. That thing. Can I get in it? The battle gear is an armored weapon developed to take on hostile bipedal weapon systems. But unlike the Soviet-funded Walker gear, the battle gear still hasn't been properly field tested. I'd like to assign a combat unit to take it on dispatch missions so that we can evaluate its capabilities and reliability. Assuming you've got no objections, give the order to dispatch the unit from your iDroid. Okie dokie. How do I do that? I can't do that from in here? Okay, well. I guess. Alright. We got a tank! Boss, we need evidence to prove our suspicions about Emmerich. Head to the central base camp in Afghanistan and recover that AI pod. It's time we purge Diamond Dogs and that traitorous parasite once and for all. So you want him to build a tank for you, and then you want to kick him out? 
That's kind of whack. I'll do it. <laughs> okay. And Clyde can come with. Roger. This is B Quad. Arriving shortly at LZ. Why would you want that? I thought he was working for us. These guys need to like decide: are they working for us or not? I mean, I'll do it, but like, still, that's danger. Not danger. Yeah, you know what? Let's hit it from the back. Why not? Oh, I didn't like that joke. <laughs> One day, quiet. One day you'll understand. You'll be a grown up. Yeah. But, yeah, I know. I, I'm saying, yeah, too much. I need to get to the point. Okay. Um. I only want to do the missions that matter. I don't want to do the extreme stuff. That stuff's boring to me. There we go. I can use my words. Woo! Also, I don't know if it's just me, but has Snake's beard gotten longer or bushier? I don't know. Alright. So, I'm just gonna go in, do the thing, and then me and Quiet are just gonna take over the base. That's what we're gonna do. I'll go in, do the thing, and then me and Quiet will just take over. Be careful down there, boss. Where even is it? Right there. Yeah, this video is kind of awkward. It usually is like that, because like right now the missions are just going to be like repeats. See what we got going on here. That guy's really good. I want him. Here, you know what? Quiet, be useful. There you go. Be useful. Fuck. There we go. Ooh, that was close. You gotta extract him. Ooh, he's 
got an A+. Plus. I have no idea which base this is. That's not very light security, interesting. Very light security. Take you, why not? He's coming too. Roger that. Should get my guys to get rid of their fucking shields. That's annoying. Okay, uh, riot suits, definitely helpful, shields, body armor, machine guns, shotguns, decoys, helmets, Music, 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 music. There we go. The hell is that thing? On it? I don't remember. Yeah, that was it. You gotta extract him.
okay. Cool, it just does that. That's all right. Damn. AI pod launch confirmed. We'll pick it up. I wonder what kind of secrets are buried in it. I'll let you know if we learn something. Got a report from the intel team. Remember how the man on fire was crushed by Sahalanthropus? Well, the Soviets recovered his body. Could he really be dead? Boss, head for Yaha Ogu's supply outpost and secure the man on fire's body. If Skullface was right, and the thirst for revenge can turn away. ever since you woke up? Well, that just might be what's left of our old friend, Volgan. Ooh, I don't know who Volgan is. This guy's really good, oh my god. <laughs> Alright, you need to start shooting, like, now. Shooting, what's going on? What are you looking for? Hmm. Might be not being the target. Okay. There we go. That looks so weird from the box. This is CP, shut up! <laughs> it's 
this dude really gonna? Oh, there he goes. He's missing all of his shots, though. <laughs> You're delusional, buddy. Out. <laughs> oh, look, another walking box. I'm gonna drive this man insane. <laughs> We need to get out of here. Hey, come on, quiet. I just left her here. <laughs> oh, there we go. I just left quiet here, dude. That's hilarious. It's actually funny. Like, just looks up, just... Where is he? Oh. That bastard. <laughs> oh, there she is. Hey. Right. Well, what'd we learn? This is yellow cake. Hold on. The one that covers the parasite that lives on the surface of the skull's bodies is what gives them their power. Similar to my children who live in my skin. I modify the parasites I isolated from the body of that old man, differentiating them with various abilities. One that can blend perfectly into its surroundings by exposing the pigments in its cells at will. Another that by harboring multiple species of metallic archaea can oxidize and reduce metal. Isolating the one that covers and transplanting it into an artificial medium should provide the same abilities as the skulls, but they can only subsist within a human body once transplanted into the medium, they will eventually die. Another thing, the weakness of the one that covers is desiccation. Their surface moisture loss is greater than ours. The reason they give off mist is to alleviate this by releasing the salts inside them as microparticles. Water vapor condenses around them, appearing as mist. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go in at night. We gotta get Vulgan's body. I said that right, Vulgan? Sounds like I'm saying Logan, but with a V. Logan. Vulgan. One of those. Doesn't matter. We're gonna go get the f man on fire's body.
Wow, it's very close. Did Quiet not come with me? Oh, there she is. Hey, come on, Quiet. We gotta go. I need you to snap some people in the face. I never understand why she just doesn't get in my car. I guess she's a sniper. She's not supposed to. Here are the remains of the man on fire. Begin cover fire. There she goes. Now she's engaging the enemy. That dude's gonna be so confused. Why is there a car floating? shooting at Whoa, hey, they're shooting at me now. <laughs> this dude just got 316. Oh no. Never mind. Oh, yeah. 
There he is, boys. The man on fire. I barely recognize you, Colonel. Skullface used your thirst for revenge against Big Boss, did he? Hmm. So here we Boss, are. I've updated the mission list. We've received some new job offers. The details are on your iDroid. Interesting. Which one had to do with the, uh, this one? You mentioned that the man on fire was crushed under Sahelanthropus in its hangar. Yeah. He was caught under the wheels of its transport platform. Mm. But his body wasn't found. What? We searched the area the moment we arrived, but there was no trace of him. I wasn't hallucinating. I know. I trust you on that. That means someone must have taken the body. But when I got there, everything was still as it was. Even Skullface hadn't been touched. I can't see a reason to sneak into a place like that and drag out the biggest, heaviest guy there. What are you getting at? The only option left is... He got up and walked away. That platform ran him over. Just ran him over. You're saying that's not enough? I don't want to believe it, but... Maybe not. He shrugs off bullets, even rocket strikes. There's no reason to think that would finish him. It seems ridiculous, but... I'll start gathering eyewitness accounts, just in case. 
If you dig up anything concrete, I want to know. You'll be the first, if I dig anything up. But I hope to hell I don't. No kidding. You're supposed to be able to find the skulls here, too. All the skulls that you extract are supposed to be here. Hmm. I don't know. Volgan, the Gru Colonel, was burned alive with a Shagoha during Operation Snake Eater 20 years ago. Despite suffering severe burns to his entire body, he still clung to life. After you left Seleniarsk, Volgan's body was taken to a research institute in the outskirts of Moscow. But modern medicine couldn't explain why he was still alive. Not that the colonel was any ordinary man to begin with. That constant electric current he had running through his body that he could unleash at will. To be honest, I was always uncomfortable around him. Thought I might get electrocuted just by standing nearby. The institute studying him was tasked with investigating and developing human paranormal abilities. The comatose Volgan was used to further the Soviet Union's research into such abilities. But not long ago, the facility burned to the ground. And Volgan's body was never found among the rubble. Even though the fire started in the room where they were keeping it. This occurred at around the same time you woke up. If Skullface was right, and a thirst for revenge can turn a man into a demon and keep the dead alive, then this man on fire who's been coming after us ever since you woke up, well, that just might be what's left of our old friend Volgan. It's not over yet. Back in 64, in Seleniarsk, you brought his plans for a utopia down in flames. That grudge is what's keeping him alive. Hmm. The day the research facility holding Volgan burned down, a Soviet jumbo passenger jet happened to crash nearby, far away to the north of that hospital in Cyprus. On board the plane was a young boy who was being Roger. to the same facility. The plane fell to earth from over 8,000 feet, but the boy's body was the only one not recovered. At almost exactly the same time as the crash, Volgan awoke in that facility. According to the Research Institute's documents, the gifts this boy demonstrated included psychokinesis and telepathy. To protect his mind from being inundated with other people's thoughts, he always wore a kind of gas mask. A rudimentary form of psychic insulation, apparently. We don't know where this boy is, but if Skullface is connected to him, we may cross paths with him yet. This boy is part of a new age where nothing we understand about the world makes sense anymore. Don't let your guard down. Damn. I'm trying to figure out what I would title this one. This one's kind of wacky. All sorts of stuff are going on. Hold on, maybe I have to... Maybe I have to make the parasite soup first and then extract. Interesting. Empire go. Hamburgers are pretty good. The 
victory of capitalism. Hmm. Your people suffered so much at the hands of America. And you asked for hamburgers. We have suffered more than you can know. But I do not see hamburgers as an accomplice. A single dish providing a balanced helping of nature's blessings. Meat, grain, and vegetable. How could anyone hate such a magnificent thing? Says the guy who can survive on photosynthesis. Balance has nothing to do with it. You just like a good burger. That is also true. Be warned, though. I have very high standards. <sighs> Don't worry. I do, too. All right, then. One good, old-fashioned, all-American icon coming up. <laughs> I look forward to it. Somebody get that man a burger! <laughs> man, that needs to be a meme now. Just pause going up to somebody just, Somebody get that man a burger! <laughs> I want that on a shirt. Just cause pointing to, to nobody. Not even cause, just some person. Just, somebody get this man a burger! <laughs> I, I'd be that guy. I'd do that. I like a burger too. I'm simple though, just cheese and ketchup. Cursed legacy. All right, we gotta go get the research for the code talker before it gets stolen. Boss, code talker's research has been stolen. The research materials have been packed into two containers and hidden in the jungle southwest of the mansion. Enemy extraction choppers will be there any minute. You have to find and retrieve those containers before they arrive. That area is being guarded by zero risk security, and the client is XOF. If the choppers make off with the containers, that research will end up in Cypher's hands. That cannot be allowed to happen. One other thing, boss. We need a cargo-capable Fulton extraction device to recover the containers. Use your iDroid to order its development and have it dropped in. Dude, if you don't have the ability to get those cargo containers by this point in the game, you're silly. We're on episode 35 of 50. If you don't have the ability to lift containers, you might as well just not be playing the game. I just stole a donkey. Excuse me. Beep beep. There's one. Guards, they must know where the containers are. If you can just squeeze it out of them. This ability in the jungle isn't great. Watch out. You could run into the enemy at any time. Please feel the roots. The branches. <laughs> Cypher's gonna be disappointed when they find out they don't have those containers. Stand down. <laughs> All right, so check this out. 
We're gonna be sneaky, and then we're just gonna steal the container and then get out of there. Oh, wait, hold on. Shoot this grenade. Fire! The hell? Actually, cool as hell. Fire. I win. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. Fire. that's even a mission is just boring <laughs> or not boring sorry but like just it's cheese pure cheese amazing mission complete that right there is why you're the best boss the one and only yeah code name bat boss we got code talkers research materials back in one piece the medical team has them under lock and key in the quarantine facility. The materials should help their research into the vocal cord parasites. Cypher won't be getting their hands on them now. Sweet. Oh, more hamburger. We got some more hamburger. Prolonged time in the field is bad for the body and mind. I think it's time you took a break. Do it for me. Come back to Mother Base ASAP. You could just say something's wrong. That would also work. Stay back. It's too dangerous. Hey. Back up, kid. I said no. You have to stay back. Some things can't be helped. Back to your quarters. What's going on? Shabani. Mayaka Nine Kingoya. Shabani. It's down there. Hey. The tank at the bottom is filled with chlorine disinfectant. One whiff and you'll suffocate. Don't even. How could you let it fall down there anyway? No! You 
go down there, and it is over. Boss! Hey! Listen to me! There is no way to recover the body. Boss, about that AI pod you retrieved from Emmerich's research facility. Guess what we found inside? A corpse. Human. The pod maintained a low internal temperature the whole time, and very little outside air got in. That would have slowed down decomposition. Still, the remains were mostly skeletal. Estimated time of death is between six months and a year ago. We put the screws to Huey about it. Listen to the tape. Turns out it was the body of someone we knew very well. Ooh. That's exciting. Where, 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 where? Questioning Huey, there. Fine. Yes. Strange Love was doing AI research in that lab. Why hide that until now? Why? Okay. So what? I wasn't working alone. You've got to understand. You do understand, right? I didn't want to drag her into this. It's my load to bear. Alone. So you didn't create the AI intended to drive Sahelanthropus. It was strange, love. Skullface was never in favor of AI control. So naturally, they argued. Strange, love, she... She got him angry, and then... He killed her. How? You didn't see it? So you found her inside that pod after the fact. And you just left her body to rot in there. Or perhaps you put her in there afterward. I... I... I asked him not to take her away from me. So she was killed by Skullface, but you asked nicely, and he put her body in the AI pod for you. Y that's right. Pathetic. You know, we have another idea. That you killed her. What, me? Oh, I couldn't kill her. You killed her and locked her body in the pod. I wouldn't. D don't treat me like one of you. I, I can't just kill anyone whenever I feel like it. I'm a, a, a normal human being. Oh, I see. So you just shut her inside and waited for her to die. I would never do that. What, you mean she killed herself? Yes. She she climbed inside that pod and shut the door. It, it can't be open from the outside. It, it was suicide. Mm. Suicide, I said. She killed herself. She got in when I wasn't looking and, and suffocated. 
She'd often try to do things like that. Uh, by the time I realized and opened the door, she wasn't breathing. I, I got scared and shut the pot again. I couldn't bring myself to open it back up. This guy's story's not adding up. He's saying that Skullface killed her, and then he's saying that she climbed in herself. Uh, dude, make up your mind. That's right. Me? Kill her? What is wrong with you? I see. Just tell me one more thing. Haven't you gotten enough today? Okay, okay. I see it's a painful memory. You don't have to answer. Just listen to the question. <sighs> you see, we examined her remains. She had a scar on her lower abdomen. A surgical scar. It had been stitched up and had fully healed. Meaning it was long before her death. She had a child, didn't she? Uh, I... Your child. Where's the kid? How should I know? So there is a child. I've never seen his face. What do you take us for? They took it all. Even my child. I didn't even know he'd been born. I, I lost everything. How old would he be? It's four years since then. And you know it's a boy. Strange love said so. And his name? We called him Hal. Even though I never saw his face. <laughs> okay, I need to punch something. Hey, sir! Oh, you're a lady! Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, no, a woman! <laughs> That's mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> Here, you know what? There you go, wake up. I, I didn't know that was a woman, oh no. <laughs> oh, that's not fun. Quiet recovered, yay! Missions. Uh... Eliminate as many fighting vehicles as you can. That sounds fun. I could do that, maybe. It wouldn't involve quiet, though. Maybe I'll do more of these side missions. Sex is here. Girls can get it as much as guys. I shoot quiet off screen all the time. I just love the idea that I just like as soon as I found out she was a woman, I just nuked her <laughs> with stun shots. Oh no, a woman. Literally slaughtered. Alright, you know what I could do? Is I could do the back down mission on extreme. And then I can, um, what's the word? Can I figure out what the word is? Yay, quiet. Okay, um... Yeah. So I'll do this. I'll have her attack one of the outposts. Yeah. Hey, yeah, so while well, I'm taking on tanks and stuff, I'll just have quiet run around and kill shit. That'll get her up. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. This is a weird one. Like, I have no idea what the title is. I really don't. Not a clue. Back up, back down. Boss, your objective is to eliminate as many enemy combat vehicles as you can. For this mission, we're back up for the guerrillas offensive. That means our mission isn't over until theirs is. Keep an eye on the remaining time. Also bear in mind that you'll fail the mission if you don't take out a single vehicle. As for payment, the more vehicles, the bigger our paycheck. So give them a real firework show. Hey, I did it last time, I'll do it this time. Check the target's locations on your map. Once you've spotted incoming reinforcements, their location will be added to your iDroid too. Right. Down there, boss. Now, quiet in the meantime, you go and attack these guys. I should get one of those. That'd be nice to have. Target eliminated. Great. Now on to the next. Boss, we have information on new targets. Check your iDroid for that predicted route. And then this is just in case. Okay. It would be kind of slow, but... It's firepower. Funny. That's the target's predicted route. You can either move ahead and cut it off, or attack it from behind. And then meanwhile, quiet, go attack. Right there. Boss, we spotted a four-wheel drive transporting a prisoner. It's not part of the mission. You think you can bust him loose? Just if you have the time to spare.
hitting him? I feel like I can hear it. Targets closing in. You can check their predicted route on your iDroid. Oh, that poor guy. Uh, 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 uh. That's not good, that's not good. Sorry, guy. Boss, I have a report from the intel team. The targets oh, that worked. On the move. Never mind, it didn't. What do you think you're doing? I'm sorry, I didn't know. Don't be mad at me, I didn't know. We've got enough guys, that prisoner wouldn't have mattered. Fantastic job! <laughs>
Jordan got good handling. Oh my god. Which route are these guys taking? Taking this route. The guerrilla's offensive will be ending soon. Boss, there's still time left. Take out as many vehicles as you can. I know there's time left. I'm trying to get there. Hold on. This one's mine. I want it. Bye. All right. Target extracted. Sorry, Reds. It belongs to Diamond Dogs now. The enemy reinforcements have stopped. No targets remaining. Boss, exfiltrate the hot zone. If there's any containers over there, I can take them to the sky. I'm just trying to maximize my bond with quiet. I don't want to leave yet. Take them out, quiet, do it. Got a shotgun too, guy. Oh my god, I actually want to kill this dude just because he's worthless. going on in here Roger Ooh this guy's got triple A plus oh, I don't want to leave yet these guys are huge great He's coming too Roger that There we go. Ooh, diamonds. Rat. This is Pequot. Arriving shortly at LZ. This is Pequot. On station at LZ. I swear there'd be more dudes up here. Alright, I 
guess not. Gaining altitude. Hey, come on, quiet. There you are. Dude, we tanked this mission. <laughs> Literally. Departing. Hey, right, bond a hundred, bond a hundred. Come on, we used quite extensively during that mission. Mission complete. Hey! Examined everyone here, and one of us is infected. It's quiet. It was our cutting edge MRI that finally revealed it. But we don't know what language strain it is. Get back to base. Time for her to talk. You know the room number 101. Oh, great, really? I just built my bond with her. Come on, guy. I could have gotten the rain scene. This game doesn't like it when I do good. Man. Anything? Still living up to her name. How about you drop the act? Who infected you with a parasite? We can't let her talk. Put it back. All I want's a name. That won't trigger anything. Tell me. Tell me! Your lungs have been barbecued. This traces of rubbing alcohol in your alveoli. This was found adhered to your lungs, intact. A petal, white star of Bethlehem. The hospital. Skullface sent you to Cyprus to kill Snake. You were burned inside and out. That should have been the end of it. But, all things considered, you look pretty damn healthy to me. We have Skullface to thank for that, right? I was the only one capable of applying them to parasite therapy. Until he stole them from me. Why are you here? Did Skullface send you? Or did you have your own score to settle with the boss? Refreshing? Salt water. 
No! She'll die! This life isn't yours to take. Nothing! If she wanted to kill the boss, he'd already be dead. Same goes for us. She's had plenty of chances. She can't talk. She's not here to kill anyone. You're wasting your time. It doesn't matter why she's here. She works for you now. She's in love with the legend. What makes you so sure? I was the same way once. What if she's a spy? What if I'm a spy? For you? Go on all day. Let her go. She won't speak, so she can't spread the infection. Let's not get in tea. Oh. Idiki black anat e. Oh. Ako kore chistesni. The death is odd. Belagana Gesneta Tato Bay Yasteta Aseto Toto Nista Toto Nista. She's my kid, dude. What the hell? Why? Why would they torture the quiet? Is she gonna run away now? I know she does that as some part of the game. Boss, I've updated the mission list. We've received some new job offers. The details are on your iDroid. The children Boss, escaped. Some of the kids we've been keeping here have escaped. We don't know why they ran off, but it may have something to do with Ralph's death. The intel teams are looking for them as we speak. I'll add information to your side ops list as it comes in. You need to locate and secure those kids. I'll try to find out what happened. Sweet. Okay. Well, I'm gonna see if I can unlock. I'm gonna see if I can unlock Rain's. Uh, Rain, Rain's quiet. I was gonna say Rain's quiet. I'm gonna see if I can unlock Quiet's Rain scene. And uh, if not, then I'll end the episode. Let me get the chopper. I've got to wait for it to be raining. Okay.
Alright. Now I just boss. I've updated the mission list. We've received some new job offers. The details are on your iDroid. Boss, some of the kids we've been keeping here have escaped. We don't know why they ran off, but it may have something to do with Ralph's death. The intel teams are looking for them as we speak. I'll add information to your side ops list as it comes in. You need to locate and secure those kids. I'll try to find out what happened. Yeah, that's great. I'm gonna wait for it to rain. I'll see you guys when it does.
Well, boys, we did it. We got quiet naked. <laughs> or not naked, but we got her to uh strip down. Hey, okay. Well, I'm ending the video. That's a good way to end it. <laughs> All right. That's also gonna be my thumbnail too. Nice. Okay. Bye, kiddos.